Jerry of the Circus. Or Jerry of the circus. You're sure lucky, Mr. Randall, getting the smartest elephant in the world, isn't he, Tom? I'll say. And imagine sending this keeper all the way over here from Spain. <laughs> well, you wouldn't want a valuable pachyderm like that to go around without a chaperone, would you? Pack, pack, who? <laughs> pachyderm. There's a catch to that. I'm afraid to ask what it means. Well, yeah, that's an easy one. It means elephant. What's his name, Mr. Randall? Uh, El Mundo. Spanish, huh? Mm-hmm. Right the first time. It means the world. Kind of fitting, isn't it? Yeah. See, what did Olsen say the trouble was all about? I couldn't quite make it out. Seems that the trainer, the minute he left, he handed over the bull to Olsen. You mean headed back for Spain? Yeah, I guess so. I had to buy him a round-trip ticket. Gee, you'd think he'd stay a while and see the country. Yeah, after making such a long trip. Yeah, he probably has to get back. But that's neither here nor there. The thing is that Olsen, one of the best bull trainers in the world, is up a tree with this elephant. Golly, I thought Olsen could handle most any bull. Yeah, so did I. And the funny thing about El Mundo is that he's been all over the world with that European circus, and he's known for being one of the easiest circus elephants in the business. Hey, there's Olsen now. He's got the men sweeping off. Oh, yeah. Hey, that must be the new elephant. Golly, he's big. Uh, he certainly is. Uh, well, Olsen, uh, things going any better? It sure beats me, Mr. Randall. This is the sulkiest bull I've ever handled. Well, how'd you get him to lie down in order to brush him off? Well, it took me an hour and a half. An hour and a half? Say, that's fierce. Well, I had to chain him to a couple of other bulls, and we dumped him down. Sounded like an earthquake, and did this baby squeal. It's a wonder you didn't hear the noise. No, no, I just come on the lot, and the boys have been working all morning. Well, he sure got me beat. I, I don't know how we're going to work him, let alone allow him in the ring. Well, there must be some solution. Now listen, after the expense I've been to, I'm not going to give up without a good try. Well, you just uh, watch us while we try to get this baby up. Come on, El Mundo. Huh? Why, huh? you wouldn't think he even heard you. Get up, you? El Mundo. Huh? Hey, boy, prod him and make him get up on his feet. Oh. Uh, well, you're getting a lot of noise, but no action. Yeah, you're telling me. Well, I guess I'll have to get a cable off to the outfit that sold him to me. I can't have this sort of thing going on. I'll say not. I'll have to chain that crazy bull to other elephants to load him onto the cars at night. Instead of helping me, he's just going to mean a heap of work. Mm. Well, I'm sending a cable over there right away. If they've given me a lemon, they're not going to get away with it. I'll be back later, Olsen. Okay, Mr. Randall. Ray, Hello there, old fella. Heard all the excitement, huh? Say, what's that in your mouth? Gee, it looks like an empty piece of paper. Here, give me. Oh, want to play, huh? Give me that paper. Ha, ah, fool you, didn't I? Well, it may be empty now, but it hasn't been. Hmm. Looks to me like you've been getting candy. So that's it. All wrapped up in a nice piece of paper. And you'd eaten all the crumbs if I'd never found it. Say, I thought you didn't eat things from other people. What about this? Say, Jerry, the candy might have fallen out. See, it's not a bag. That's it, man. Let him loose now. So that's it. You want to know if you can have the candy, huh? Hey, I wish that new bull of mine was half as smart as Rags. Well, of course, Rags is kind of special. All right, Rags. Where'd you get the candy? 
We'll go on back, and maybe I'll let you have some. We'll be right back, Wilson. Rags comes first, you know. Sure thing. You kids are welcome anytime. Thanks. I sure wish we could help you with El Mundo. I wish you could, too. There's something back of all this. We made an awful mistake to let that trainer go so soon, but I guess it's too late to be helped now. Hey, don't be in such a hurry, Rags. Yeah, we're coming. Uh, bye, Olson. So long. Say, Jerry, your dog sure is a knockout. No, I'll say. Say, yeah, I wonder who gave Rags a candy. Good night. Now what? Well, look at this p- piece of paper it was wrapped in. Well, what of it? Well, did you ever see this before? Well, no. Why? Well, notice anything funny about it? It's awful thin. You bet it is. And it's not like the usual paper around here, is it? No. Well, it's rice paper. That's what it is. Because when we found that note in Carmen's wagon with a dagger stuck in it, Carmen said that piece of paper was rice paper. No. Honest? Honest? Uh Uh-huh. And it was just like the same piece of paper. Could it be the same? Well, of course not. The other had writing on it. (laughs) Now what? Oh, so you found one of the pieces of candy, huh? (laughs) Huh. Well, maybe you can have it, and maybe you can't. You think it might be poisoned? Well, I'm going to find out who gave it to Rag before I let him have it. <laughs> now, listen, Rag. Where did this come from? <laughs> That's it. Take us where you got it. Go on. Look, he, he does understand. See? He, he's turned right around and he's heading for... <laughs> now what? Nothing. He just found another piece of candy that must have dropped out. All right, old fella. I'll, I'll keep it until we know if it's okay for you to have. <laughs> Say, he's wonderful. Now he's going he right. looks like he's heading for the quarters belonging to the freak. Yeah. He sure enough know where he wants to go. <laughs> Why, that's the bearded lady's wagon. Oh, so she gave you the candy, huh? Hi there. Say hello. Doesn't look as if anyone's there. It's me, Jerry. Anyone home? The door's open. Why don't you look in? Well, if she's there and wants to talk to me, she'll answer. I don't want it to look like I'm snooping. I see. Hmm, doesn't look like anyone's home. I wonder if that's the same kind of paper Carmen's threatening note was written on. I'd sure like to know. Well, the bearded lady's gone. Might be a good time to look around and see if she's got some more of that paper. Might find a clue. I know, but I guess i better check with Carmen and see if this paper's the same as hers. Come on, her, her wagon's right near here. Let's see if she's home. Oh, 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 well, speaking of angels. Uh, hi there, Carmen. Hi. And it is the master, too. We were just coming to visit you. You were? Oh, nice. I go back home, and you can come and visit me now, eh? <laughs> oh, no, that's not necessary. We just wanted to see you, that's all. Tom and I were over looking at that new bull elephant from Spain. From and... Spain? What elephant? Something come from my own country? Tell me. Well, Mr. Randall bought a famous elephant. At least he thought he did. Called El Mundo. No, no, not El Mundo. El propio mio El Mundo. Jerry, don't they stop? I mean, where is he, this old friend of mine? Do you know El Mundo? Do I know this animal? I should say so. For years I have worked with him. I bet Mr. Randall will be glad to hear about that. I'll say so. What did you do with him, Carmen? I worked with El Mundo when I was a little girl. I go out in the ring and he carry me on his trunk. I was only six, seven, just a baby. Really? Say, you have been with the circus a long time. Well, of course, I grow up in the circus. But come quick, we must go to see El Mundo. Quick, this minute. All right, Carmen, but I think I better warn you. What? Something is wrong. Tell me quick, is it bad? Well, you see, it's like this. No one can make him do anything. He won't obey. He's sulky. Even gone on a hunger strike. Olsen can't manage him. Oh, no, me propio. I no believe it. Well, it's true. Unless they sent Mr. Randall the wrong elephant. Oh, I so wish this was my old friend, El Mundo. What a gentle animal. He understands everything I say to him. Such a good beast. Look, there's Olsen over there. Looks like they're dragging that new bull over to the menagerie tent. Yeah, they are, of course. Oh, Olsen. Hey, Olsen. Oh, oh hello, Jerry. You back again so soon? Yeah. Uh, I brought someone to see El Mundo. Well, he's all right to look at, but he's certainly no treat to work with. I am almost afraid to look. Huh? I get so excited when I hear El Mundo is here. Well, and now it must be some other animal. But I Carmen wish used it... to work with the real El Mundo. She wants to see if this is her old friend. Oh, so Carmen, you, you know him, huh? Well, that's good. Hey, boys, bring that bull back. We were just putting him away. But what is it? He's chained to those other bulls. Oh, it is sad. 
Uh, you bet your life it's sad. It's a major tragedy, if you ask me. I can't do a thing with him. Oh, the poor thing. Huh? Here, let me see him. Well, uh... Oh, El Mundo, well... El Mundo, querido mío. Well, oh. well what do you know el about that? Oh, que tal, querido mío. Ello no lo creyó. El Mundo es well, it's a right elephant, oh, all right. Look at her. He put on his foot and she walked right up close to his head. I'll be if ever an animal was glad to see a person. <laughs> That's it. Look how gentle he is with her. Amigo yeah. mío, no hay cuidado. El mundo, mi lindo. Carmen. Hey, oh, Casey doesn't querido. even hear us. Look how, look how he puts his trunk around her. Yeah. So gentle. Uh, uh, Carmen, oh, hey, uh, it is the right one, huh? Of course, it is El Mundo, El Mundo, the greatest elephant in all the world. Uh -huh. He's so gentle like a lamb, so kind like a mother, so good. <laughs> okay, Carmen. You see, Olsen, she used to work with El Mundo when she was a little girl. Oh, so that explains it. Uh, Carmen, uh, Carmen, say... Uh, oh, yes, Mr. Olsen. Will you tell me something? Why can't I make that bull work? I do not know. He works fine. He's smart and, oh, he's so good. Well, I'd certainly like to know the combination. Uh, what is it? What do you do? Uh, jump down, I'll show you. There you are. Now, I I I'll try again. All right, El Mundo, down. Go oh, lay down, quick, down. Oh, oh, no. No, not like that. Huh? No, no. Oh, poor El Mundo, no wonder. Here, I show to you. Yeah. El Mundo. Siéntate. Ven conmigo. Siéntate. Well. There, you see? He understands now. You talk to him in English. No wonder he cannot obey. He no understands. Well, I'm a blithering idiot if there ever was one. <laughs> Can you beat it? All of us stand around and not one of us realizes he can't understand us. <laughs> <laughs> Golly, that's funny. Oh, funny. It is sad. Me, pobre amigo, he's so willing, but he not even know what you want. Oh, I'm so happy to have El Mundo back again. Say, we better run and tell Mr. Randall before he sends off that cablegram. Say, we'd better at that. Come on, let's go now. Okay, come on, Ray. <laughs> we'll be back, Carmen. Yes, I stay here with my good friend El Mundo. All the crazy things. Gee whiz. Now what? Oh, well, we forgot all about asking Carmen about that piece of paper. We've got to find if the same person who gave Rags the candy is the same one who sent him those threatening notes. <laughs> <laughs>